Hello friends. In the previous session that we had, we had reached up till tabulating the required data for the sum that we were solving. And in this particular step, we will and this particular session, we will go forward from where we stopped in the last session. So this is what we did in the last session. We had reached till step number four. We had we had found the total motion for arm, for gear C, for gear B, and for gear A. Now, what does this denote? It simply means that arm EF is rotating with plus Y revolutions. Gear C is rotating with Y plus X revolutions. Gear B is rotating with a speed of Y minus X into TC by TB. And gear A is rotating with the speed of Y minus X into TC by TA. So, how do we use this data to solve the sum? When it is very clearly given to us that NA is 0, that is speed of rotation of gear A is 0. But here we are saying speed of rotation of gear A is Y minus X into TC by TA. Arm is given in the data to be rotating with a constant speed of 18 RPM. Since the direction in which arm is not rotating, that is whether it is rotating clockwise or anticlockwise is not given, we assume that it is rotating anticlockwise. Now, so it is here that it is given the arm is rotating with the speed of 18 RPM. But here we are saying that the arm is rotating with Y revolutions or with the speed of Y revolutions. So what is the relation between this Y and that data that we have? So we need to find the value of Y and X so that ultimately arm EF is rotating with the speed of 18 RPM and the values of Y and X in this case should be such that the gear is rotating with a speed of 0 revolution that is gear A is stationary. So, we need to solve this information linearly to find out what the values of y and x are. So, first step over here, to find values of y and x to, or to find the values of x and y, we need to make use of the data that is given to us. What are the given data that is given to us? First data that is given to us was arm rotates with a speed of 18 rpm clockwise. 18 RPM, but they haven't mentioned the direction, so we will assume that it is rotating with anti clockwise sense. Now, if arm is rotating with the speed of 18 RPM anti clockwise, now in this table or step number 4, the arm velocity of the arm that is n suffix arm, this is equal to, or I will I will not I will use this term ENF that is NEF. This is equal to plus y from this table over here. Since this is the speed for arm EF, but it is given to us that NEF is equal to 18, which means value of y is equal to 18. Now, to find the value of x, we will make use of the second condition that is given to us. The second data that is given to us is that speed of gear A or gear A is stationary which means this term over here y minus x. So, since gear A is stationary, it means speed of gear A which is denoted by y minus x into Tc by Ta is equal to 0. From where am I getting this? This is nothing but speed of gear A as obtained from the last column, from the last column, last row. Now, we know in this data, in this equation, y value of y is equal to 18 plus 18, Tc is the number of teeth on gear C, Ta is the number of teeth on gear A. So, Tc and Ta are 32 and 72 respectively and from solving this equation, we will be getting the value of x. So, if you solve this sum or if you solve this ultimately, what you are left is y is equal to 18 and x is equal to 40.5. So, both we get x is equal to plus and y is equal to plus itself. y is equal to plus 18 and x is equal to 40.5. Now, how do we make use of this data to find velocity of gear C and speed of rotation of gear B? We will start with speed of rotation of gear C. Now, speed of rotation of gear C we know this N C this is equal to how much over here this is equal to this term. 
sorry the speed of rotation of gear c is here that is gear c so last row and the second column so nc should be equal to y plus x how much is y y is 18 and x is equal to 40.5 so this will be equal to 18 plus 40.5 which will be equal to plus 58.5 therefore speed of rotation of gear c is 58.5 rpm and since this is plus over here it simply means that this is rotating in the anti clockwise sense so we know in this question that we were asked to find how much is speed of rotation of gear c so i can write speed of rotation of gear c is simply 58.5 in the anti clockwise sense now we need to find how much is speed of rotation of gear b we will use the same step over here to find speed of rotation of gear b now speed of rotation of gear b that is n suffix b from the tabular data that we have this is given by this equation speed of rotation of gear b is equal to y minus i will just paste it over here so this is equal to y minus x into tc by tb now y is 18 x is 40.5 this value of tc is equal to 32 but this value of tb over here is not given to us so we now need to find how much this tb will be and to make use to find this number of teeth on gear b we will make use of this relation we know module in general is equal to the ratio of diameter to the number of t therefore m is equal to t by t now diameter is two times radius so i am just substituting it over here module is equal to 2r by the number of t T. Now, by rearranging these terms in this equation, that is taking this t here and this 2 to the denominator over here, I will be left with radius is equal to module into t by 2. Now, you need to remember this particular equation because in the next sums that we are going to solve, we are not going to focus on this. Now, you need to buy hard this, that is radius in general is equal to module into number of t by 2. So, if you pay attention in this figure, in this figure, the radius of this red gear, that is radius of gear C plus diameter of this gear B will be equal to radius of this internal gear A. And I repeat once again, radius of gear C plus diameter of gear B will be equal to radius of gear A. So, I will just write it down over here, that is radius of, radius of C plus diameter of b now diameter of gear b it means two times radius of gear b is equal to radius of gear a now here the relation between radius and the module relation between the radius module and number of teeth is known so i will substitute this instead of rc so this will be equal to module into number of teeth on gear c by 2 and this rb over here this will be equal to module into number of teeth on gear b by 2 and this ra over here this will be equal to module into number of teeth on gear a by 2 now if gears are in mesh then the necessary condition is that modules should be equal therefore in this term i will cancel out module from this complete equation and finally i will be left with simply a uh, number of teeth on gear c by 2 plus uh, now if you look over here before going forward 2 is also common throughout so why not remove this t u also this 2 also from the denominator then we are ultimately left with number of teeth on gear c plus 2 times number of teeth on gear b is equal to the total number of teeth on gear a now we know number of teeth on gear a we also know number of teeth on gear c so this is equal to 32 and number of teeth on gear A, we are getting from this equation over here from the given data. So, this is equal to 72. Solving this equation, ultimately we will get number of teeth on gear B is equal to 20. Therefore, 
in this equation what we will do is this y minus this y we will replace it by 18 this x that we have x is equal to 40.5 and this tc number of teeth on gear c this is equal to 32 and tb that is number of teeth on gear b which we have got it from here this is equal to 20 and after solving this the answer that we get is minus of 46.8 rpn since it is minus over here it means it is rotating in the direct in the clockwise sense so 46.8 rpm clockwise so speed of gear b and we had to find how much is speed of gear b and we also had to find how much is speed of gear c so speed of gear b is equal to 46.8 rpm clockwise or i can simply write it as minus 46.8 rpm so where is equal here so i can write it as 46.8 rpm and speed of gear c that is nc this is equal to 58.5 rpm which i am getting it from here oh sorry we had solved this so this is it so speed is equal to 58.5 rpm anti clockwise then or you can simply write it is equal to plus 58.5 rpm that's it so using the simple concept we will look at more complex sums in the next sessions that we will be having thank you